All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. And uh, this is one from the Scandinavia box from Beer 52. And uh, we're having a look at Black Sheep, which is by Hila Brewery. I've never known how to pronounce that word properly. Uh, links in the description and there you go. I don't want to do a disjustice to um, the brewery itself. So Black Sheep is a black IPL clocking in at five, six, is that five or 6.5? 5. 5.5%. .5%. Black Sheep is the unique fusion of two worlds, a harmonious marriage of malt complexity and hoppy vibrancy. Roasty and hoppy, really nice artwork on that. I like how nice and simple it is. Almost has a little bit of um, doom metal feel to it. So, uh, yeah, I've already drank most of the beers from this box because we were, um, it arrived on the day that Everton were playing the uh, Crystal Palace replay. And um, they were just, it was just not being broadcast at all. So I just ended up having a few beers, watching um, Blackpool versus Nottingham Forest. Now, I know the Everton game was a third round replay. But surely more people would be interested in watching that than fucking Blackpool versus Nottingham Forest. Even though by all accounts it was actually quite a boring game. Um, but Gomez, lovely free kick. Anyway, we're not here to talk about football. We're here to talk about beer. And uh, yeah, pretty much as I would expect. Don't want to say Jet Black because... Well, I'm not going to say Jet Black because I can see some nice dark rubyish brown hues bleeding through the top of the stem. Uh, thing, half fingers worth of a nice sort of like tan beige looking head. I'm starting to proper chafe in uh, in my thighs, fonder thighs that is. Anyway, uh, I'll crush your head for a tenner. So looking absolutely wonderful, poured very nicely as well. Let's see what a black IPL tastes like. Let's give it well. Let's give it a sniff first. Interesting. And it smells like a sort of like a a modest black IPA or hoppy porter, actually. So it says two distinct styles. Now are they is it like a Schwarz beer with hops? I don't know. What other dark lagers could it be? Like a doppel no, it's not doppel box, it's not ABV. You're definitely getting the hops in there. Adding that slight marmalade licorice sort of aroma. There's a little bit of a roasty tone. It almost has like a slightly fruity licorice aroma, like I just said. Even though I'd completely forgotten I just said licorice. You know what I'm talking about. It smells really, really nice, actually. Very nice and inviting. Being quite impressed with the beers from this box so far. Anyway, and I've only got dark ones left, so happy days. Cheers, everyone. Now, that is interesting. You can't escape that it's a lager. It's got that crisp, light body to it. Which sometimes when you throw loads of hops at a lager, the hops aren't really, you know, carried through nicely. If that makes sense, it sometimes can just taste like a really watery pale ale or something like that. I think I've made that point plenty of times on previous reviews. But that slight hoppy character works really, really well with that dark lager. And it just works. It's like, it makes sense. Really licorice on the back end. Like a proper, like, you know, just like a plain but strong licorice. That's not got any flavours. Borderline like salty licorice on the back end. Playing nicely with the roasted malt character. Has a slight smoky edge to it as well. 
it's teetering on black IPA territory, although with not that like really robust intensity that you do find with a good black IPA. Yeah, nice light crisp body, holds those flavours really, really well actually. It just works, it's so satisfying. This is ice cold as well. So, you know, obviously oh, the flavours will be masked. I uh, don't know why a beetle was uh, saying that flavours will be masked. Oh, that's, that's really, really nice. I really, really like that. I was a little bit sort of like apprehensive. Will this work? And it really, really does. If you like your licorice... That's the predominant flavour for me. It's a little bit fruity, but it has more of that like hoppy resin character that you get with like a, a nice oily like West Coast IPA almost. But I'm saying that it's not intensely hoppy as you would expect. You're almost getting like a like a plain black coffee flavour in there as well. There's actually a lot going on, but it doesn't like stray into one specific direction. And there's nothing really overpowering like other flavours. It's really nicely rounded. It blends really well. And yeah. The hoppy bitterness on the back end is just absolutely fantastic. It's got a better West Coast finish than a lot of modern West Coast IPAs. But really nice dark lager backbone. And yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. From the artwork on the can to more importantly the beer in the glass. And I really like that logo. That would make an absolutely perfect um, sweatshirt. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. Um, really, really good. Highly recommended. Uh, I know it's imported by Beer52, so I'm not sure if it gets any sort of distribution outside of their own web shop or whatever. I'm not too sure. Um, God, my hairline receded really badly now. Um, and there's a lot of her to have a receding hairline with as well, so that makes it even more fun. I need to get my hair cut. I need to get this beard shaved. I need to lose a hell of a lot of weight. But I just can't be asked. So um, you didn't need to know that. But what you do need to know is this is a really good beer. And if you get the opportunity to try it, then highly, highly recommended. Don't know what the general distribution is like for these guys here in the UK. But I would happily, happily have that again. Yeah, lovely stuff indeed. I, what a lovely surprise that was. And don't say lovely too many times in such a short amount of time. Anyway, if you've tried this, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. If you've tried anything else from the brewery, recommendations always appreciated. Um, uh, what beers that sound like this would you recommend? The usual. I'm actually making a bit more of a better effort to actually, said actually twice in quick succession then, to actually three times, third time's a charm. I'm actually four times. I just can't think of another word to use. And I don't want to drag this joke on for any longer than it already has done. Or already has been. Can't speak proper English. Um, yeah. And now I've completely forgotten what I was going to say. I'm mm, going to put a bit more effort into responding to people's comments this year. That's not a part of YouTube. That should be something you have to work on. That should be just something you should be doing anyway. And I said should too many times in quick succession. Shut up, Peter. And just drink the rest of this beer and enjoy it. Yeah, lovely stuff indeed. Highly recommended. Links down below to the brewery and their relevant social media platforms. And there's a bit more information about the beer itself through the untapped link. Speaking of which, follow me on untapped. I can't find a URL for my profile. 
So just search uh, casual underscore, or no, it's clueless drinker sucks. Uh, clueless underscore drinker underscore. It's just written down below. I don't need to explain it. Bye.